Hello guys! Christmas is over now actually, so I hope all of you had a really nice Christmas and got lots of nice stuff. It's Saturday morning now. Sitting and looking, I'm thinking. If you look at the forecast, it should have stopped rain a long time ago. It have not. It's now two days since I full filled these uh, elements with concrete. So this should be dry now. So now we can start work inside there and do all the pipes and stuff ready. And then we're going to start to fill all the rocks over there behind the container into the frame. Start to fill it up. I'm not going to manage to do this ready today. Let's say it that way, because this is many, many days work. This crazy ball bag is coming, uh, what are you doing in English? Or... <laughs> I don't know, but he, I didn't ask him for that, but he's just, just coming to help. And in this shitty weather, that's, uh, that's high class. Thank you very much. Rain has stopped. And we put the pipes in them. Yeah, I call them shit pipes. From, uh... <laughs> no, the pipes. We put it there now. All the way. We need a little bit more there, but this is later. Now I'm gonna fill up with gravel underneath. So then guys, huge thank to Paul Christian. He have left now. Really appreciate the help he gave me this morning. Now this is pretty much done. That means now I'm gonna make a ramp from the grass over there to here. So I can go with the tillerboard and start to, to fill up with the big rocks. This is gonna be three days with hard, hard work, yeah. Yeah, I think this could hold it. It can be, I'm not sure what I'm starting on now. Because I probably need to move all this. Or a little bit from that one. Down to the other side there. <sighs> yeah, I need to move all this with this steel wood. Gonna take time. And I probably don't have to go to the fitness studio. These days. I think this could be enough fitness. Cool. Guys, after... Uh, one hour with the thriller board, I just realized that's not gonna work out. So I called this guy, Kent. He's my uh, wingman. wingman. <laughs> Kent said, and now he's gonna make one more movie and he's gonna take off his clothes, but that that did not gonna bring that, Kent. Matthias, uh? hello, hello. How are you doing? Good. Probably. Probably good. <laughs> are you dreaming, or Kent? <laughs> so then. I met Kenter now at uh, Matthias' place, Rygge Varebrunering, because I got two keys now. Now I go down to Excel Utleie and pick up a machine. Alrighty then. Ah, come here. here we go. Oh la la, look what we got here. Down. This Kramer, is this wide enough? Huh? Go on po. Ooh, that is exactly if it does. Let's see then if Kent gave me the right key. What? Was it open or what? Oh, there we go. Yes, it's right here. All right. Then. How am I driving this one? This time I have a steering wheel. That's better than the last time, actually. I thought this was backward and forward, but that was a signer. There we go. There we go. That's backward. Oh, la la. Guys, this is not more than Akirat. Then, now is it on? Then we can go. Hey, by the way, look at this. This I also organized this week. Now, let's see if we can find a road inside here. All right, we go this way. All right. Okay, guys, truth had to be told. I got stuck now with uh, the machine from Excel. That's my mistake because out on the uh, uh, backside here, it's so wet, gravelly now. So, actually, after five minutes, I was totally stuck. So, we had to use the crafter. Pull me out from the hole I was inside in. Let's see if we can see anything. Yeah, it's not so easy, but here I was stuck. But we managed to get it out, out there. But now I have to make a new plan because I cannot continue to drive here now and fill it from that side. I'm gonna start from this side now because here is the, the ground is much more solid. So I can drive in here, get the rocks into the, the scoof from this side. And then I can drive over here far as possible and hopefully it's not too far from that point to there so I can drop all the stones in over this edge. 
So let's see if this is working out. I think I have to go a little bit higher. There probably. Oh, 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 oh. Det var på kusåret. It's working out, but it's on the edge. All the rocks I have to lift in manual then, because it's no chance for a machine like this to drive into this bunch of heavy rocks and get get someone in, you know, because it's this is too heavy and too compact. All right, guys, it's a new day. It's Sunday, and I decided not to go for a run today. I got to do some work instead. I have a day off from fitness actually. I just got to do one thing here today, actually, and one thing only. I just going to continue to fill up. Thomas, have you been in my video log before? What are you? Or have you been in my video log? No, never. Uh, that, no, it was time. No. Okay. This is an old professional racing driver, a really good one. Mm. How are you doing? Good. Good. No. <laughs> I'm actually really glad you come past now because now I needed five minutes. Yeah. Working all day. A few hours only, actually. <laughs> Guys, you cannot see it now, but here, earlier today, with a huge tower of gravel, you know, like that one. Let's move it down there now. That's because this week is coming up. I'm getting a new tower of gravel. It's going to fill down here with the degrees. And then I'm going to load that on the side here. Yeah, on the side of the frame, into the frame. Because then it's easier to drag it to each side and load from, from the end, you know? Monday morning, this Elko is here for me now because it has a lot of parts for me. To the Range Rover, to the Sprinter, to the Seat and to the Crafter. Here are my Christmas presents. Now I have a little bit to do here also, eh? But I'm actually just closing down here now. I go to Oslo today to deliver more Christmas presents. This is probably the last day. A true play. Have you told Freezer, Hello, Mr. Freezer, are you freezing? I'm cold. <laughs> Waiting on Thomas here now. I had to drive him down to BMW to deliver his car at service. And the funny thing is that I don't have a passenger seat in this car. It's not mounted. And Thomas has to sit in the back. <laughs> like the king. I don't feel as a combo, Hello, man. mister. Put your seat belt on. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Now I'm... Uh, Printing on some logos on some new clothes. Like that. Then I just push there one. That's one. Then this one was done. Alright. Oh la la. Now we are happy. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Sir. You do. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, look here. Now we have a little bit poop. Right now I'm back. Oh, look at all this easy wood. This is nice. Huh? This is gonna have on top of the plate or before the complete. But first thing I'm gonna do now is clean up this mess. Been a little bit stressy the last day, so it's a little bit cleaned up. Let's open my Christmas presents. Tim, my buddy down in Germany, organized all the parts for me. He sent me a Christmas present. A calendar. Thank you very much, Tim. That's enough for you guys. Oh la la! Oh, look at all these parts! Most of the stuff or everything is now packed out. This is Range Rover parts. And tomorrow I'm going to the place to throw away garbage. And if I go with the crafter, it costs 20 euro. With this one, it's for free. That's why I go with this one. Dark outside now this evening, so I'm not going to continue outside. It's going to be tomorrow when it's light. Since I have parts for the car now, I'm going to start with the range room and make that one finish. Front is on, or the front box and radiator and everything. Now we're going to try the front bumper. Everything is fitting perfectly on the first try. All right, then. it's a new day. Here we go, now I can drive into this and load into this one. Ah, that is good. Damn, that Olsen bilakering to mixing some color. Now we have Weber 90. 
Hvor er 90, ja. Du, 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 du. Der står 90. This is for the sprinter, if I manage to straight up that frame, you know? This uh, Christmas time, then I have paint to paint it also. Color is mixed, and uh, now we're just gonna have... Oi, binder, sorry. Titta litt feil her. 50 skal vi gjøre den. I went away now in lunch to just organize something, some more sponsored gift and stuff. Took four hours. But now I'm back, I'm gonna drag all this gravel out there now. My brother is helping out a little bit today, this evening. I'm really happy about it. Thank you a lot, bro. So, here we have the status till now. It's the day before Christmas. Did a lot yesterday, actually. And the Rode Grave Service have been there this morning delivering more pork. Huge thanks to them. It's actually not too much left to fill up before we're gonna have the Isipur. But it's few plus degrees today and sun. And I guess it's gonna be the last day with plus degrees and sun for a long time. I'm not gonna work here today now. I'm gonna continue on this one today because since I have to straight this one outside, I'm gonna do it now today, make it ready. As you can see, this frame is not fitted 100%. This is just loose. We have to... Yeah, what do we have to? I have to put out all the measurement and check it 100% that it's 100% straight. Then we can weld it on halfway outside here. Then I'm gonna take the car down on the wheels again, put it back inside and weld the rest and prepare the rest inside. Just have to do this outside when it's in the frame in the color liner because it's too high for inside now. That's a little bit shit actually. So then, the measurement pins are on and we can see now it's one and a half, cent one and a half centimeters too much to this side. So I'm gonna drag it this way now. And everything is ready for that. So then just push that one. And there it's coming really easy as you can see. Safety first, Morten. Mm, safety first. <laughs> Thanks to my brother here now. We have been pushing hard. And we are done with the sprinter. It's now straight, nice and welded together. I didn't sign, sa sand down the welders here now because this I'm gonna do when I get the car inside. Now I'm just gonna take it out from the car liner jig and down on the wheels. And we are done with this project for today. Yeah, like you saw, sprint is down on the wheels and I had to scratch there and we have cleaned up. So now I'm gonna continue in the backyard. First of all, we're gonna change the angle on this a little bit because we need to hit this point. It's a little bit out of kush. Then guys, now I'm done with all the with the pipes. All of them is now done. So now it's yeah, it's that done. But it's way past 10 o'clock now and it's the day before Christmas, so I'm I'm not gonna make any more noise here now because of the neighbors. So I go in and work now actually. Morning guys, Christmas morning. Normally now we should have been a family sports club doing the morning fitness, you know, we always do at Christmas morning. But that's cancelled because of the COVID-19. But we was more than 40 guys on the list there who should come. So a lot of people showed a lot of interest, so it's, it's a shame it didn't happen. But we try again next year. One tradition I'm going to keep today. Let's go to Odds and buy some sweets. Hello! Hello! Merry Christmas, Dia! How are you? Hey. I'm fine, are you? Oh, look, great, you? look great today. Not great, but funny. <laughs> now I'm gonna prepare, change the front window on the Range Rover before I go and work further on outside. You see the window is cracked yet because of the airbag. When that was blowing out, it was breaking the window from the inside. First thing to do when I'm gonna change the window, front, take off the covers on the side if you have it. Open up the cover on the bottom. This normally you take away, but if I'm gonna take away this one, I have to take away this cross bar and this I don't want to do so I just put it up there now with the stick. All the cables and cameras and in stuff inside have to be loosened. To cut it out you get a lot of different tools but I'm gonna use one simple one, a little bit old style. This one I'm gonna take between here I just have to be careful I don't scratch the roof inside there then I need both hands. I have now been dragging this one from over there to here and this I'm gonna do all the way around now, not in the bottom. There have to be wire. use wire, I'm gonna show you later. This stuff happens when the glue is too thin, because then there's no space for the knife. But you can see now, loose. Here we have the wire, guys. This is sharp. Then I take one inside here. This plate is really important now, because this is gonna protect the, the dashboard 
from the wire. Then I'm ready, but normally you are two guys, you know, one is doing this on the inside, the other one on the outside, and you go, um, I don't know, on my gang. I'm gonna try alone now, I did it before, so I know I'm gonna manage. It's a little bit difficult in the beginning, but then it's going better. Next step is to cut away the old glue. I have to tell you guys, it's uh, Sven Billet, Kongen, who learned me this job, you know, a long time ago when he was working at uh, Beckman, was the name then. He actually been one of my sponsors for, um, one of my first sponsors, and he helped me for many, many years. So uh, Sven, I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hope everything is fine with you. Cleaning done. Next step now is to glue it in. We'll have to wait for my brother. Because I need help to lift it in. But I can start outside here now. So long. Huh? Frøs i fast. Helvete. There we go. Heat, full heat, full heat. Forgot to tell you, but the camera was here. We also had to move over. This is done, but this is have this gel. So I have to use a special spray. Spray is down there. And then we put the camera in. There we go. Now I can fill up more gravel there and there. <laughs> All right. First easy boot plate is on. Guys, it's important to park with style. You know? Shirt! Shirt, you go. Happy Christmas, Christian. Well, it's for It's Christmas and this is the place it's happening. Niklausen. Yeah. Brodern. Fadern, Christian Antonsen. My dad is trying to find out of the Ulaster. <laughs> that five minutes have not passed. Yeah. Still standing at the same place. <laughs> Are you taught the home break? Yeah. <laughs> Are you taking off the handbrake? Son? Okay. Morten? Huge thanks for today. It's now around two o'clock. We're gonna stop working outside here now because of the neighbor, it's Christmas. So we are just gonna pack down and clean up and look what we did. We managed to put this board all the way. I'm just gonna fix a little bit here, but this I do now one of the next days. So then now we're gonna mount the front window. I'm gonna get help from my brother here. First we're gonna do now is put primer in the chassis and on the window. This primer is for against rust, where if I have been cutting through with the knife, you know, and I remove the old glue. And this is for uh, getting new glue to attach to get stuck, you know, to get grip. This is helping for both. That's why I also put this primer on the window. Because earlier we used the uh, activator and clean the window frame here with, but now these days we use only the primer. Now this is going to dry for 5 minutes and then we are ready to put the glue. And this, we put here, the tape, like that. So when the window is inside, we put this down on the window, so the window is not sliding down while it's drying, you know? That's why we did that. I always look at the old window to look where the glue has been glued and it's in the edge everywhere. Then we just start down here. Voila! Now we move on. So what? So you buy open. Right, there is a lost cable mounted also. This is for the heat temperature in the window. And the mirror and all this is mounted. Scared. So then guys, all the interior part we was missing is mounted. New knee airbag, steering wheel airbag, front window is just drying here now. So this car is actually soon 100% ready for a spin. But now I go home and eat with my mom, dad and brother. Getting, I'm gonna get fat, I'm gonna eat so much food tonight. You guys have no idea.
last minute in packing. This is actually the paper I'm using to mask the car before paint, and this is the masking tape. There we go. This one is to the dragon. Guys, it's first Christmas day, eh? So I got a lot of nice stuff yesterday. I actually hope you also guys did get a lot of nice stuff yesterday. Um, I know a guy who got something really nice. It's a guy I know. It's a friend of my friend, Anish Hansen. He gave him a present, so this is actually a small surprise because the guy who got the nice present, I know him, he's watching my weed logs and he's a huge fan of it. He actually put my weed logs in front of his wife. So here's a surprise to you, Knut. Er det til Knut fra Anders? Suspekte greier jeg da her. Hvem begynner å ha for meg når jeg ser på vloggen? Når du ser på vloggen, ja. Knut, jeg har vært laughing så mye om det. Sorry, eh? No hard feeling. Uh, I guess Knut and your family and Anders Hansen, everyone is in the holiday house now. Actually, I wish I was there, but because of the COVID-19, I cannot come. But we try again next year. I w but I want to wish all of you still a really nice Christmas to your family, Anders Hansen, everyone's watching. And yeah, we... I'm just going to continue. I'm fixing the front lamp now, actually, on the Range Rover. I'm going to show you. You can see the brackets here was broken here and there, and I made new ones now. Now I'm going to... Put primer and a painted black matte so you cannot see it so easily. I've been changing it. That's what I'm doing now. It's painted black. While that is drying, I'm gonna mount this seat now to the silt. Seat on. You can see this is dry now also. Here we have the final result with the bolts. Of course, you can see it now when you look at it, you know, but if you don't know and you're gonna open the hood, then you look like all around. You're not gonna recognize it that badly, you know? Actually, the most important of this one is that it's solid, so it's not breaking. And this is really solid. This will never break, for sure. A little side project here now. This is a crimpering to the rear axle of the Mustang. So this bearing, I changed it, you know? And this ring was the one I was heating up because the bearing I pressed on with the pressure. This ring, when I was heating it, it go wider, you know? And heat metal it goes wider so i heat it a lot like you saw i just put it over here down and it falls down on the place where it should be without any pressure when this is cooling down now it gets smaller and it gets super tight in there so it's you need to cut it or do something to get it off now so this is what keep the bearing in place so it's not be, not the bearing is going back inside so now this is ready it's out in the daylight for the first time now in a long time now it's gonna run, get warm, and then I'm gonna check the water, and then it's more or less done. Now it's in the crafter. Quickly inside, I'm just gonna change the seat belts and put a cover on underneath the hood. Real quickly, cleaning this car now, mainly because I'm gonna change the winter tire, so I clean the rims really good. The crafter is not ready then, because when I change the seat belts now, the airbag sign is not lightly flashing anymore. Uh, no airbag had been going off on this car in the crash, but the seat belt had been uh, going off, you know, the dynamite in those. That's why I have to change those. Now it's the same in this seat. Seat belt is working perfectly, but the dynamite in the um, the sneller there is uh, destroyed. So this done too. Now we're gonna take the spring to inside. Okay, now my brother gonna move the crafter. Then we're gonna attach this sprinter to the your last there, and we're gonna drag it. There we go. My brother is in the sprinter and turning the wheel. Hopefully he managed to hit uh, the gate. Then guys, now this can uh, teening. Stay here teening till tomorrow. Then I'm gonna continue on the frame here. Then guys, second Christmas day. This is the one I welded on the other day, you know. You can see I've not been sanding down the welds and stuff. Now we're gonna take down the subframe and sand down the welds and clean it up and prepare it for paint. I forgot before I start to paint, I have to straight up this because you can see it's bended. Same on the other side because I probably have to paint a little bit on those two after straightening it up. This I have to do now first. So then guys, this corner is straight up. Same with this one. This front cassette is bolted on, so it's fitting perfectly. Side fender is on, fitting good. Ancient cover is on and this fender is on. 
and everything is fitting good now so now we can take everything off and then i'm going to prepare for bed signing of the well this is done but now i have to clean this frame and this is full of this norwegian tech dildrit this i have to scratch off because scratch off because it's a fat liar holy shit this is a shit job eh? done scratching now i'm gonna try to clean the rest with thinner hallelujah it's done cleaned now i'm gonna sand it and then later we're gonna mask it and then we're gonna paint it there we go now we're going to paint epoxy and a little bit filler epoxy now then the filler this epoxy and this filler have to dry for a few hours now. I'm gonna go home and eat and stuff like that. When I come back, I'm gonna paint the color because the color on the clear coat have to dry till tomorrow before we can do anything more then. Back after dinner now when the primer is dry. Then we are sanding it down. Fugemasse is on. On uh, both sides. These have to dry around one hour now before I can paint on top of it. But I'm going to change the brakes on the other side. This is the axle I put a new, I put a new bearing on the other day. This is in. Knee of this is in. Knee band is in. And I got the same on the other side. The color is on, guys. So now I'm only going to put the, the clear coat. Now it's also the clear coat on. And it's actually glossy and nice. I also painted this front uh, crossbar, you know. Now it's going to dry till tomorrow and then I'm actually going to start to mount it. But now I'm going to go home and sleep because now I'm pretty tired. Guys, the plan was working here today. But it had been fucking stormy weather. All my zero form is blown away. Holy shit. Fuck this, I'm not going to work here today. I go and continue inside. I don't want to stand out in this shitty weather. Let's continue on this one instead. What I'm gonna do here now guys is something I don't want to do, I hate it actually, but I'm gonna paint this frame black again with this tactile stuff. This body shoots switch on this side. Well not body shoots, but this has yeah, some tactile oil stuff. Complete with this one. Good look shit when it's done, but I have to. It's this on all the other side, so I have to do it on this side too. It looks a little bit glossy now, but when it's dry it gets matte. It's gonna be more or less like that, especially after being using the car for a few days out in the gravel and shit and stuff. Then it's gonna look the same. But I agree right now it looks really bad subframe back on new disc and pads on now then i think actually it's time to try to mount the motorist those ones are a little bit uh, smashed as you can see so we put new ones so then the new pipes is on so then is it actually time to try to fit this bad boy back in the car all right then guys Engine is back inside. We could actually fire it up today, but I'm missing this uh, this uh, wheel for the side of a pump. And this you normally can't buy loose, and it's made by ZF. Normally, I have to buy the complete pump, but since my buddy Joachim Vogor gets sponsored by ZF, Joachim, you have to organize me a wheel like this. Please call Germany straight ahead and organize the wheel. You know, I'm gonna call her about this. But well, I think we're gonna end the video here now because I have a feeling this video is gonna be long <laughs> but hey we passed 2000 subscribers thanks a lot to everyone who helped me to reach 2000 eh? please help me keep climbing eh? so we can reach the next goal now have to be five it's going to take time before we are there but we have to keep pushing i will wish all of you uh, still merry merry happy christmas new year blah 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 and uh, this is the last movie in 2020 so i see you guys in 21 till then like andreas back reset flat out